Companies like the Wall Street Journal use all their fancy software to create their awesome charts and visuals, but we like to keep it simple, so let's see if we can redesign three of their most popular charts in Excel, and we'll be rating our end product from 1 to 5 stars. Let's get into it. First up, we've got this line chart with two lines and that fill color in the middle, which is gonna make it hard for us to replicate. So over here is the data we're working with, and we've got the chart on the side. If you want to download all this data, you can do so for free in the video description to see if you can make these charts yourself. So you can see here we have these two extra columns for the base and the difference. We're gonna need these to recreate this middle fill area. So let me just move this over to the side for now. The base is simply gonna be our lower values, so that's the woman side. We're gonna select those, and then the difference is just the men minus the woman. Hit enter there, and now we can select these two and drag them down just by double clicking here on the side. So we're ready to convert this into a visual. All we need is to press Ctrl A to select it all. And let me just scroll back up. I'm gonna go over to insert. And under the line chart option over here, we're gonna go for this very first option. Right now, this is looking quite rough. It doesn't look much like the actual chart we're trying to make, but just bear with me as there's a few key changes here. We first wanna click on any of the lines and just go over to right click and change series chart type. Once you do that, in this pop-up, for the base and the difference on the bottom, we want to change these from a line to this second one right here, stacked area. Same thing over with this one, stacked area. You can see up top in the preview what that looks like. We'll click on OK here. And now this bottom part is the one we want to get rid of in this green. So all we need to do is go under format. And as the fill color, we're going to change that to have no fill. Now you can see it's really starting to look alike. Let me just make this a bit smaller so we can see the key differences. I'm going to delete that title for now. And that fill color, maybe we should change to this light gray color. So under shape fill, I'm going to go for the lightest gray, which I think is this one. And for these lines as well, we want to change them to a red and a golden color down below. Let me select this top part. So I'm just going to click on it again there. Let me just try to get out of it and click. And now under the shape outline, we want to change this color to a bright red on this side. And then down below, we're going to change this to a slightly more golden color. So let's say I go for this one over here. Nice. That's looking a lot more like it. We do have a few differences like these labels over here. So let's try work on them. We can just click on this very last one. You might need to click it a few times. Right click, add data label. Right now you can see we just get the percentage, but that's not all we want. So we can right click and go to format data labels. Now we can also add the series name. So you can see it says men and the number. Control B to bolden that. And we're just gonna change the fill color of that text. We can do that on the top side and we'll change that to a red color. That said, you'll notice here on this Wall Street Journal chart, it's actually kind of more to the side. So it's got that excess space. We can actually change that by going to the axis, right click, format axis. Here we should make a few differences. You can see that this step up is roughly in 10 years or, or 20 maybe. So let me just put a 20 here as the major. You can see that's looking maybe a bit cleaner. And then here we want to add a few more spaces. We can do this by changing the maximum from 2023 to let's say 2028 and hit enter, you can see that adds this extra white space. Now let me fast forward how I do the same thing for the woman side down below. Great, now this is starting to look very similar. Let me get rid of this legend simply by selecting and deleting there. And also for these lines, they seem to be a bit too thick. So under format, we can go over to shape outline and on the bottom, you'll see the weight. Right now it's at two and a half. Maybe we change that to just one. And same thing over with this side. Let's change that quickly. Underweight to a one. Now you can see it's hopefully looking a lot more similar. Let me close out of this side over to the side. Finally, we can get rid of these grid lines. So Alt W, VG is the shortcut there. It's the same thing as going over to view and unticking on grid lines. Now for the side-by-side -side review, I think we did a pretty good job here. Maybe the colors, we could have made them exactly the same. But overall, let's give this a 4 out of 5 stars. Next up, we've got this chart showing how close people are to achieving their American dream. As you can see here, it seems to have something similar to a radar chart, except it's circular. So this might be quite hard to replicate, but let's give it a try. Over here is the data we're working with up top. 
and down below is the image we're trying to replicate of this visual. So I think the best option is to select the data and go over to insert. And instead of going for the conventional chart types, we'll go under this one, click, and then we want to go for a radar. The problem is we can either do a normal radar, but we want one with a fill inside. So we'll choose a filled radar. Let's see what that looks like. Let me delete this title over here just so we can see it a bit better. First, let's work on this fill color for the blue part so we can go over to format and then under the shape fill, we'll choose a very light green like this one over here. Another thing you could do if you wanted to see the gray lines behind is to change the opacity of it. So let's say I go for a thicker green, but this time I'm just gonna reduce the opacity so we can see the background. Under more fill colors, we wanna go under custom and then under the transparency or the opacity, down below here, you can increase that. Let's say I try 55% just to see what that's like. You can see there that it starts to show more of the background. We can also change the fill color to a lesser color like that. You can see that's looking maybe a bit better. For the outline, we want it in a darker green color. Let's say we go for this one up top. Nice, I think that's looking a fair bit better. So let's work on this other orange one of the how easy. So for this, we're just gonna change the fill color as well. To a purple like that and again we want to drop the opacity of this one so under more fill colors under the transparency let's say we go for around a 50 something like that click on ok now we want to work on the shape outline so again we're just going to choose a thicker color like this one awesome that's looking a lot better but you notice that we don't quite have this curvature here it's more circular while in this one it's more of a hexagon Unfortunately, that's not something we can change here in Excel. Also, you might notice in the original Wall Street Journal chart, it's got those markers, but those aren't very easy to make here in Excel. Let me show you why. So let's say I have this chart selected and I'm gonna go over to chart design and just change chart type. You'll notice that under the radar, we do have an option with markers, which is this one, radar with markers. The thing is you no longer have the fill color. So it's either you have one with the filled radar or one with the radar and markers without the fill. So it's really a trade-off here as to what's best. Let me show you what this looks like quickly. You can see it no longer has that fill color and it's not something we can add later it seems like. So let's say we just go with this initial design we made. Now for the side-by-side -side review, it's nowhere near as elegant because it doesn't have those curved lines and it's a hexagon, but nonetheless, let's be a bit generous and give ourselves a 3 out of 5 stars. As you can see, we're really pushing Excel to the limit here and the next best software you can use is Power BI, which has a lot more visual capabilities and you can learn how to use with our Power BI for business analytics course. In our all-inclusive curriculum, we start with data cleaning and transformation using Power BI, then get into data visualization tools, followed by DAX or data analysis expressions, which is what you use to build formulas in Power BI. Then to simulate real work scenarios, we'll practice using two extensive case studies. One will focus on building a PNL dashboard from scratch on Nike, while the other focuses on visualizing McDonald's European restaurant operations. And if you get stuck along the way, you can easily ask us questions in the discussions forum on the side. Currently, 97% of Fortune 500 companies use Power BI, so if you're looking to invest in yourself, head over to the link in the description below. Alright, back to the video. Finally, we've got the third and most unique chart, which we'll need to be fairly creative for. You can see that we've got numbers roughly ranging from 0 to 7, and that's gonna vary the different colors, so we might need to use some conditional formatting in Excel. Let's take a look over here is the data that we're working with. In the image below here, for each of these vertical tiles, we want to make them cell. So we're going to have to rearrange things by making it a lot shorter and a lot longer from this side, kind of like that. Let me show you how to do it exactly just by selecting these columns. So we're going to go from column C here all the way to the very end. Right click and under the column width, we're gonna choose something much smaller like 2.3. You can see there it's a lot narrower. And for this side, we wanna make it somewhat bigger. So under row height, we're gonna go instead of a 14.4 to something like a 50. Now let's highlight this area with the numbers a bit. So Alt HH, that's the shortcut to go under the fill. 
and I'm just gonna put this in some color like this to make it stand out a bit more let me move this visual over to the side as well so we can see what we're trying to make here and you'll notice that it's got these white borders all around that are fairly thick so let's try to add these we're gonna select this whole area and under this part which is the borders we want to go under the line color we want a white color and we want to go back in there as we want something else too which is a thicker line so under the line style let's go for a thicker version like this one all the way to the bottom now let's press the escape key and we can just select the all borders part you can see they're now thicker and they're all in white awesome now this is starting to take shape and the next step is to work on all the different colors that said if you want to know the exact color we're using here in this image we can use the eyedropper tool unfortunately it's not available for windows excel but it is available for excel for mac if you're on a windows what you can do is go to powerpoint instead so let me show you here i am in powerpoint i've got that image and i'm just gonna go over to shapes and insert a shape like this over to the side with that what i can do is under shape fill you'll see i have this eyedropper tool so i can select any of these let's say i go for the darkest one right here and now i have this colors so i can just go over to shape fill and under more fill colors i can find out exactly what color this is for the hex code i would then be able to copy that and go back inside of excel here and now i can change the color exactly to that so i could go under this fill area and then go to more fill colors and enter the exact hex code that i would need as you can see right here and press on ok you can see how that one changes that's the overall idea so let me fast forward if i do some of these great so you can see here on the bottom i have all of the hex codes that i can then reference when i'm doing the conditional formatting so we can then select this whole area under conditional formatting we want to do the first one which is greater than six so it's gonna be if greater than a six so all of these over here we want to do a custom format and here under the custom we can go to the fill area and choose a specific color under more colors i can go to custom and choose the 8a0206 is the first one and hit ok there hit ok again and you can see those are now being filled in that color same thing with the next one it's gonna be between the five and the six mark so we can go to conditional formatting highlight cell rules that are between this time and it's gonna be between a five and a six and again we're gonna do a custom format and it's gonna be the d8 here so i'm gonna go to more colors custom and choose the specific one i think you get the idea so let me fast forward the rest nice so we've now been able to add all of the different colors but you'll notice that we have the actual numbers behind so for each of these all you want to do is match the font color to the actual background so it's just gonna be in a gray color and so on and so forth let me fast forward that too nice now we're pretty much done but let's first work on the labels that we have on the bottom as they do have some tricky ones so the first one is just 1999 over here let me actually merge and center it so we can see it a bit better there but for some of these like the 10 15 and 19 you'll notice that if you try to just put let's say over here an apostrophe and then a 10 you'll notice that excel just gets rid of that apostrophe so what you need to do is actually add the apostrophe twice and now it's gonna keep the very last one same thing over with the 15 which should be roughly here and the 19 at the end now we can make these changes a lot more easily finally let me bold in this area over here with Control b and overall if we look at these side by side i think we did a fairly good job with what we have in excel so let's give this one a five out of five stars to end it on a high as a small bonus feature did you know that you can create dynamic screenshots with this icon over here let me show you how to do that you just want to select this whole area like let's say for this chart and i'm just gonna press on that screenshot button and let me just put the click here down below and you can see that it keeps the same visual as above the key difference is if a number changes here like let's say i put 100 percent not only does the top one change obviously but the screenshot does too making it a dynamic screenshot to add this into your computer you just need to click on this drop down and under more commands you want to go over under the popular and switch that to all commands look for the camera and then add it over to the right hand side as i have it right now 
Let me know in the comments down below which company you would like me to do next. And if you want to create McKinsey visuals in Excel, check out this video over here or take our Excel course over here. Hit the like and the subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.